name is Kasim, and welcome to today's today's topic. Today's Wednesday. We are going to get educated today and get a little bit wiser. So uh, today, in today's video, we're going to talk about compounding. As you see here, we have Albert Einstein, and at some point, at some point in your life, I'm sure you've heard about him. And at some point in your life, I'm sure you've heard about compounding interest. But for some reason, we just always seem to just ignore it and just kind of like live it in the background and uh, not really touch on it much or not think about it. But, you know, if he says one of the eight, well, is the eighth wonder of the world, right? That nobody really talk about. Or let me just actually shed light to this because that's what I'm trying to do with my portfolio. Um, just something similar to this but on wednesdays i always like to push out the, all these educational videos just to enlighten people a little bit more about some of these topics in this video uh this was uh produced last week and uh, today's video that you're watching right now is a continuation of this video so i will leave it in, leave it in the cards it will pop up and uh, you can go and check this video out this is a continuation of this video. I'm planning on doing a, a, a series of this every Wednesday, just pushing out educational videos for everybody. If we just think about it, how can we accomplish this this um, compounding interest, which is the great, uh, the eighth wonder of the world? How can we accomplish it, right? The only way to accomplish it is to just create a plan, have some sort of a plan to uh, put something away. You know put something away into an investment and just let it grow over time and um, here are some articles that talks a little bit more about it I will leave a, uh, this link in the description so you can read it for yourself and get a little, a little bit more educated um, a little bit more educated on this topic just take a little time read this invest in yourself by just giving time to it uh, the, the, the article goes into what um, automatic investment is. Basically, it's just you setting aside aside, aside little money every single week, no matter what. You just set it out and just invest it. In the book, thinking um, in the book, uh, the richest man in Babylon, uh, they 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 touched on this. They touched on this. They they, they talked. He talked about. Um, you know, putting aside 10% of your income and, you know, letting it grow over time and investing, investing it with wise people and all those things. So do take a look at this article and, uh, and read it. I think it, it ha really has a lot of information in it. So please read it. I will leave the link in the description. Another name that you can call compounding interest is basically dollar cost averaging. And dollar, the concept of dollar cost averaging is just the idea of uh, buying stocks uh, at different prices. So you're not trying to time the market, you're just trying to be in the market for as long as possible. Dollar cost averaging is a more conservative approach to investing than simply spending all your money on securities at once. This technique allows investors to commit to a fixed dollar amount of a particular investment on a regular schedule, regardless of the share price. More shares will be bought when prices are lower, and fewer shares will be bought when prices are higher, resulting in a lower average cost per share. Dollar cost averaging reduces risks by allowing investors to ease into the market over time. For example, Chris buys $200 worth of stock in Billy Bob's restaurants each month for four months. In January, the value of the shares drops to $50 each, so he buys four. In February, the stock is worth $40, so Chris buys five. In March and April, he buys eight shares of Billy Bob's, which dropped in price to $25. Overall, Chris purchased 25 shares at an average price of $32. If he had invested all of his money at the same time, then he would have only bought 16 for an average price of $50 per share. So that's 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 uh, that's one of the the idea of this of this compounding interest. That's one of the ideas that you have to follow in order to actually achieve this goal, right? Um, 
it's very important to be in the market right and at the same time learn a little bit more about the market right so look read this article read this article as well i'm going to leave both of them in the description read it so you have an idea what dollar cost averaging is because this is like this is the best way to get to get invested in the market and to be a part of the market um for the long term Think into yourself casein why does this make sense like why do i have to learn about this stuff this is this is why this is why right here because they say number numbers don't lie right so this is this is one of the reason why this is the u.s government website this is the scc's website the scc is like the police of wall street um if anybody's trying to do anything shady in, on the market the scc has the authority to investigate that company so they also have uh, this handy calculator right here so i'm going to also leave this in the description if you want to play around with it and look at your own numbers so let's say you started an investment portfolio with uh with a thousand with a thousand dollars you put in a thousand dollars and month every month you're committed to put in putting in uh 500 in total for the, every month right and you're gonna do this over 20 years and on average if you get an interest rate of seven percent over those 20 years if you plus 20 divided um uh plus um you add all your all your percent percentage gain every single year you divide it by the 20 let's say you get an average of seven percent right over the 20 years and you are going to you want to calculate this on a on an annual basis well you put all those information in and you hit calculate and over 20 years that money will grow obviously with interest is going to grow to about three hundred and eighty eighty four thousand dollars you know which is tremendous growth right is better than not actually taking advantage of this very very simple principle go back and say you know what um i'm i'm young you know i'm like 25 years old i have like you know 40 years uh to to invest so let's say we double we uh we double this and we make it uh we make it 40 we make it 45 years for example right um so like i'm gonna invest from my 18 19 19 years all the way to I'm um, like 60 you know I, I have the time so let's just redo this so this is the difference right this is this is why it's very important to be in the market for a long period of time right this is way better than the previous number right this is way better than the previous number so this is why compounding is very important to actually take action just don't you know just watch a video about it and not do something it's very important to take action either you take action by learning and reading some on on these topics and playing around with this calculator and actually visually seeing what is actually possible right over time so take action look into all these things all the links will be in the description uh one of the reasons um this is another example of the reason um of the reason why it's very important to actually start as soon as possible because this is the s p 500 this is um, this is top 500 companies in the u.s combined into one and uh if you have been investing in this since inception right <laughs> which is a long time ago um you would have been buying shares at different times different price different times different prices but as you can see overall you you would have made a lot of money over, overall right over five over six hundred percent on on your money you know so your money would have doubled every dollar that you've had in this over this period of time would have doubled doubled six hundred six hundred percent so in, so in summary recurring investments are one of the best ways for you to grow your wealth over time because the sooner you start the better for you the better it is that you can compound your, your, your money over time as you can see as you can see here this uh, every single dollar invested in the S&P 500 since its inception has basically basically tri uh, six six hundred times 
right? So recurring investment is very important. Look into it. Read all, all the article, articles in the description. Thank you for watching and have a great, great, great week. And uh, I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.